Start of day two. This is the view we have. Oh, this is appearing already a little bit. So we can see. We are around 800 meters high, so it's quite nice. But I think further ahead will be even higher, so the view will be even better. But you can start to see the the clouds disappearing and stuff. So it's it's amazing. Really. Yeah, we're kind of hoping that this fog will go away because, you know, the beauty about this place is the the altitude, you know, so um, it gives you wonderful views of the valleys and of the other uh, mountain tops. But with the fog that we had since yesterday, it started at like seven and it was abrupt, you know, it was all of a sudden it went from clear skies to to, to very yeah, foggy. You couldn't see like 10 meters ahead. Yeah. So, and rain, rain, rain. So yeah, tough night, we're hoping but... this fog clears out quickly so that we can, you know, go back to the views we were having before and that we can, you know, share everything with you guys. But yeah, we're pretty confident that's what's going to happen. Um, you are? So yeah. Let's go. Let's go.
aqui, vês por aí. this morning going so far yeah so far going pretty good we, we got a little bit out of our original track to uh, try to find a better way to to get where we want to go but it was pretty cool i mean this hills with the horses and stuff but, uh, quite nice. yeah basically what we said yesterday um this track was a you know a mix of different tracks that we put together and we were looking at the GPS this morning and noticed that most of it was on actual pavement, you know, but we we found a pretty, you know, um, clean hill in terms of vegetation, uh, which was uh, easily d done by by car. And it also saved us, I would say, probably 10 Ks or, yeah. or 15 Ks in the, on the road. Uh, and, you know, it, it's always funner to um, to go off the beaten path than to take the pavement. And if we can save a little bit of time doing so, um, We got chased great. by horses though. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's yeah. crazy horses, but like chasing the car, we were afraid that they would start like kicking the car or something. We had to run out of it from them, but it was, yeah, it was nice. It was nice. <laughs> Guys, these are the first bits of snow that we're encountering. Uh, we had a, well, a little bit of a snowy section back there, uh, which we also filmed, but this is the first like actual uh, snow covering the road type of situation. Um, we will have no shortage of that. If you guys look over there, you can see that's where we're heading. That is, that is the highest section of the Pyrenees and it's covered in snow, completely covered. Um, so yeah, the guys are getting the cameras uh, and everything. Uh, we're trying to put the drone up in the air. We're having some trouble with the connection and stuff, but we will try to get it up as soon as we can. And, you know, keep driving these, these lonely country roads that are very muddy and snowy, which is always makes for a very cool experience. So yeah, let's go. Yeah guys, so we're here, this is called Pais Baixo, which is a really cool place, you know. Um, the architecture is completely different from anywhere that we are used to in, in Portugal, where we live in the capital city of Lisbon. And it's just a very lively place, you know. We are very close to the big uh, snow places here for people who want to go skiing or snowboarding. and. It's a very lively place today, you know, a lot of people on the streets, the weather is really good. I mean, we're talking, we have snow up at the peaks and we're wearing t-shirts right now. So you can see like how cool this place is. We're loving it so far. Uh, the guys are at the car. We went to a very cool bakery that had some homemade bread and stuff. We're making some hot dogs for lunch. And after lunch, we will keep on with the with the journey so yeah we're having a great time here
yeah guys we just had to do a quick a quick stop uh, next to the road because we were investigating a little bit better these tracks that we are we are following on the GPS and we noticed that there was a lot of pavement uh, ahead and I mean pavement is good to you know get some miles um, but we still want to explore a little bit more uh, the tracks that there are here and chase a little bit more of the snow which is up uh, at the peaks so right now uh, we're navigating only um, on the satellite imagery that we were able to to download uh, and we're not following any you know pre-made tracks so we're hoping uh, our intuition takes us to a nice place to spend the night and we're looking forward to getting there uh, we'll keep you guys posted on the way if everything goes okay or if it doesn't so yeah amazing you know um, the way up here wasn't very easy supposedly it was only for pedestrians and there were some people walking on the side of the road but we figured that this like the width of the road was enough for us to pass uh, the guys had to you know get out of the vehicle I had to drive it up myself because we're talking we're four adults inside the the duster and it's a lot of weight so the guys jumped out we started going up and it chugged up the mountain no problem right now we're pretty high you know the views here are incredible uh, we get snow on every mountain peak uh, that we can look at there is a small lake uh, behind the car right there if tomorrow morning uh, the Sun is out you know who knows I may try to figure out the temperature of the water when we pulled up there were a lot of mountain sheep on this Side of the mountain right here but I guess they went up uh, we still managed to get some pretty cool pictures uh, that we will include in the video as well so yeah um, I think we we'll just start preparing now yeah we'll start our up stuff uh, we are very happy with the dusters performance so far with all the upgrades that we've done to it um, Bill Stein suspension has been flawless you know it chugs the holes the, the rocks everything so, I mean, once again, a big props to 4x4 Project for supplying the suspension and also to Bill Stein and Ikebeck for the shocks and springs, which have been absolutely fantastic. Now it's time to set up camp, uh, get the, the gazelle tent uh, up and running uh, and start making dinner. And also get some beers, of course, to relax from the, from the day of today. Let's go.
So finally, we are ready to start cooking. This is our campsite. So yeah, now we're just gonna start our last meal of the day, hang out a little bit. Jim. Jim. Hello, my name is Jeff. Mano, vamos jogar para o fora do caralho. Não, tá Arthur, fala, cool. fala aí para o teu vlog. Está very cold. <laughs> It's very cold, but, you know, double socks, double pants, and double sweaters. We're managing. Um, this is the setup we have going on, is two uh, double mattresses, one for each two, you know? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> the tent is enough is big enough that we can put two mattresses together and sleep the whole the four of us uh, next to each other yesterday i was near the the wall today w tonight we switch and i'm here so that i'm a little bit warmer um but yeah you know this tent is very comfortable We can have dinner here, we can cook here, we can sleep here, and yeah, it's holding up great. When we arrived, there was a lot of wind, so we had to secure the outside walls with some poles and some pieces of rope that 
uh, come with the tent specifically for that purpose and even under heavy winds it managed to hold up so yeah it's gonna be a good night and tomorrow another day Ha, ha, ha.